Good morning, afternoon, evening or night to all of you depending on your time. This is the seventh episode of the series called Laptop Liquid Loop or the Triple L project for short. It is the last episode that will cover anything to do with the LLL attachment. In the next video I'll hopefully be able to start and maybe even finish making the water block. By the way, I also have a quick update regarding the water block but please watch the video where I discussed um, the problem that I encountered uh, while designing the water block before you watch this video. Before we start, let me just thank all of you for staying here. I haven't uploaded in a while and I really appreciate all of you guys not giving up and waiting. As I said in the first video, the schedule of updates is not set in stone. This is an ongoing project and I only upload if I have time to work on the project which I often don't due to studies and other things. So thanks again for staying with me on this journey. So here is the current situation with the water block. I've placed the o-ring channels, one of the priciest features, into the acrylic top cover with the intention of sending it to Protolabs and making the actual water block using the university CNC and manual milling machines. Protolabs came back with a price of uh, £130 or approximately $150 US dollars, which is more than acceptable to me. However, when I contacted the university workshop to discuss if this reworked um, water block can be made using a combination of the CNC and manual milling machines, they completely refused me any access to the CNC milling machine. Um, quote, we won't have foreign projects in the workshop. They claimed this has been their position um, on the method throughout the year, so it doesn't really make sense to me how they allowed, allowed me the use of uh, the CNC milling machine, provided I can rework the model to make it easier to mill. Anyway, I've decided to contact uh, Linus Media Group, as I've seen um, Linus uh, from uh, Linus Tech Tips uh, use their CNC milling machine for the exact purpose I needed. I offered 300 pounds, which is approximately 350 US dollars, plus postage on me. I sent them my request on the 17th of May, but I don't have any reply as of the time recording this video. If they refuse or ignore me, I'll have to get everything made by Protolabs, which I believe will be around 400 to 500 pounds. I can swallow this cost, but this means the price of the LLL totals about 800 pounds or 1000 US dollars. Just insane, especially thinking that I thought the whole thing would be about 400 to 500 pounds when planning this project. All right. Now to the more exciting stuff, which is the tube run. Here is the attachment assembled. There will be three tubes inside the casing and two tubes outside the casing connecting the attachment to the water block. The three tubes inside are one from rest pump combo out to casing out, one from casing in to radiator, and one from radiator to res pump combo in. Soft tubing will kink much too easily, so won't allow for some of the runs required, which is why I decided to go for hard tubing. It's more complicated as it requires bending, but it solves the problem that soft tubing has. For those of you who don't know how hard tubing works, basically they come straight and use a heat gun to heat up the tube and bend it to the desired angle. Then you cool it down until it's solidified and the bend is complete. Now I'll shut up and put up the time lapse of the process.
and that is the attachment basically complete. As you can see here, it fits into my backpack with relative ease, um, although it looks massive on my desk. Only one thing left, and that is uh, making the back cover. But that can wait till I make uh, till I get the water block and test the thing. The funny part is that it takes me about three hours to assemble this attachment from start to finish. But I guess mm, hopefully I won't need to do it too often. Hopefully I can come up with a good solution to the water block problem ASAP. As soon as I make the water block I'll upload a video about it so stay tuned. That's it for this video. You can check my social media links down below in the description. I upload um, updates there too. Do comment if you have any questions or suggestions. I read and reply to everyone. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next part.